Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 5 of my Let's Play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG. Oh, confrontation chapter, of course. So, I forgot another side quest, so here I am back. Vanilla, while we were in Grand Coal, Grand Noah, noticed they were selling gold, gold needles and magic pages. So she'd like to get some for her shop. Gold needles, she saw, sold by a scorpion girl at the pyramid. And the magic pages are, well, we should be able to get some from book monsters. All right, simple as that then. Nice to meet you, this is Vanilla. She'd like to sell gold needles in her shop. It's true that I really haven't been selling that many out here. If you buy from me, that would be a big help. So, the talks proceed. Alright then, it's decided. Once a month, send your familiar for a delivery. Well, thank you very much. It'll be a pleasure working with working with you. Next up, the magic pages. We need to trade with book monsters. I wonder if there are any in our party. Oh, I wonder. This time it's kind of important. Oh, jeez. Get in there, puppy. Okay, first up, Annie. I'm not connected with the library. I'd like to procure magic pages. Let's discuss it. Well, I can't produce that many magic pages. You better talk with a higher level book monster. Thanks a bunch, Annie. Okay, Yoko, you're up next. I'm not connected with the library. I'd like to procure magic pages. Terribly sorry, but... I can't produce enough pages to really be worth selling. Maybe you should speak with some higher level book monster. Well, in that case you need to actually recruit Cornelia. So I'm not connected with the library. I'd like to procure magic pages. Magic pages. So let's discuss it. If we're talking about sales, then it's all right for me to make a request of my own. So in exchange for the pages you want, every month I want certain publications, etc., etc. She's kind of a dork. All right, those conditions are satisfactory. This is a good deal for both of us. Thank you. So, Vanilla Shop now has magic needles and, no, gold needles and magic pages. Looks like we're about on the level of a capital city shop. But she's not giving up there. Which basically means she doesn't have anything to do right now. Oh great, now I'm stuck out in the desert. Now the Magic Academy. So this is the Magic Academy. It's true. She feels the presence of a number of mages in the area. But be careful while you're in here. These are the pupils of Mephisto, so they should be pretty strong. So, on the interior of the academy here, where should we search? Well, we want proof of what she's been up to, so we should go to her room. So, let's go. Oh, look, students. So, don't you know it's... For, it's, uh... Yeah, it's forbidden for outsiders to be coming into this academy. You're bad guys, you're bad guys. What do we do? Shall we call the upperclassmen? Or the principal? 
Or should we? Hey, you know, we have a reason for this. Don't let your guard down. These people aren't human. Well, it's alright to take intruders and make them into toys. Make them into our playthings, right? Let's do it, let's do it. Now, even though I have homework, this is so bothersome. There's always someone who's complaining. And the students reveal their true forms. Whoa, gross. So, let's play. Uh, yeah. Let's make this quick. I love those berserk masks. Oh, so. More than infiltration of the school, this is more like assault of the school. Well, whatever. Let's continue. Oh, it's a map of the school. Seems like... Principal Mephisto's room is on the second floor. How convenient. Don't want to talk to NPCs. Except maybe this one. She looks like she has full and well-rounded facial expressions. Hey, don't move on me. So, you guys. Alma, Alma. What are you doing in that outfit? If you look, you'd understand. I'm infiltrating the academy. That Mephisto managed to trick me in the Colosseum, so she wants to come and investigate. Ah, is that so? Well, do as you please. By the way, right now Mephisto seems to be in some secret conversation with someone. So if the principal's in her... The principal is right upstairs, and if you go in, you should, should find that person. Hmm, a secret conversation. So, if we go in right now, that's better proof than anything we could hope for. QQ! Is that all? So, she's going to continue investigating the school. And she kind of likes these clothes. I can't say I do. The way that muffler wraps around, it looks like her neck is coming out of her shoulder. But, to be quite honest, she has bad posture. Oh, right. Principal's room. Look, it's Mephisto. So, to think that we would get this far. Mephisto, and you! Check it out, it's Lydis. Well, to think that we would meet here. You know, her little sister Astrodolt has been... has... has praised us most highly. There we go. All right, this is the eldest sister of the three sisters, Lilith. So, you're behind this. Grand Noah has been manipulated by Mephisto, and behind that is Lilith. And the one pulling the strings would be Alice Fees the 15th, right? That is right. Mephisto's master is not Queen Grand Noah, but only the Mao. So, Lilith, you too are Alice, Fee, are Alice Fee's the 15th underling, are you? We're not underlings. Not at all. We're in an alliance and uh, supporting her and her plan. Well, no. More properly, it's the reverse. It is she who is supporting us in our plan. Ooh. Well, if you're going to be speaking so directly about this, you don't have any intention of letting us leave alive, do you? Yes, sorry, but... If Mephisto and Lilith work together here, we certainly aren't going to be getting... Well, we certainly won't be living any longer. What do we do, Luga? Should we run? Terribly sorry, but Lilith isn't letting us go get away. Oh, she's fast. So, your life ends here, but you don't need to be afraid. Lilith will play with you properly all the way through. In that case, why don't I play along too? 
Oh, you are the Shiten no who betrayed them all. Alma Elma. Washa. Wa. <laughs> all right, now's the time. We'll leave Lilith to Alma Elma, and we. Oh. Oh yeah, she was here too. Oh, I see. This isn't going as well as I planned. But, I am an excitingly good mage amongst monsters. And I'm going to fight you in my true form. Uh, true form? You just took your clothes off. This is her true form. Oh man, she looks strong. She just took her clothes off, guys. Well, as an opponent, she is not... Uh, not insufficient. <laughs> uh, don't let your guard down. She's not as much as strong as one of the Shiten no, but... She is a... An underling of the previous Mao. Eh, okay, then. Well, she wasn't planning on taking care of us herself, but... She's taking responsibility. Hmm, is that so? Oh. Oh, to think that my power would not be enough. Ha, ah, sucker. Thanks for putting on the clothes, by the way. <clears throat> it is my defeat. I won't be stirring up any more or trouble to do as you like. Hmm. So, more than scouring up proof of her wrongdoing, capturing her herself is the fastest way. So, we're going to take you to Queen Grand Noah and have you confess everything to her. Well, I won't be hiding anything anymore. We did make arrangements. For sooner or later, my machinations coming to light. <laughs> you sure do have that way of infuriating way of seeming at ease through all these things. Huh, well, we managed to do our part. But how are all my how is all my Alma doing with Lilith? Well, we can't know, but we've got to believe in all my Alma. So, let's return to Grand Noah. Gwaa! Oh, to think she'd be able to keep up with my speed. These Heat and Noah are stronger than expected. As expected of a legendary succubus, she's far above average. Alma Elma needs to stay on her toes or else she'll be killed. Oh, why don't we show you the power of a legendary succubus? Hey, I too want to see how much my fists can... How much purchase my fists make against a legend. Hehe. <laughs> Not bad. In any way, case, we return to Grand Noah. Alright, question and answer time. Mephisto. The person behind you was the Mao. Is this true? Yes, that is correct. That I became the Magic Vizier of Gran Noah was the Order of the Mao. Hmm. So, you have been manipulating myself and Gran Noah, is that it? I've been doing my very utmost to work on behalf of Gran Noah. There is no lie to that. The order I received from the Mao was... Support Grand Noah and use your knowledge to guide them to victory. In other words, the Mao was cooperating with Grand Noah in their war. So, just like your order said, you've been Working on behalf of Grand Noah. Yes, 
There is no falsehood to what I speak. I've been consulting for Gran Noah and not brought a single harm to her. Hmm, it seems you aren't lying. And it's true that your consultations have been guiding this country through the crisis. All right, next question. According to what I've heard, the three Succubi sisters were behind the incident in Sabasa as well. So, those three sisters are in a cooperative relationship with the Mao. So, that the Queen of Savasa was driven, driven crazy, was that following the Mao's will as well? Yes, that is true. The Mao and the three sisters are in reality an alliance. The three sisters aren't the underlings of the Mao, but they, ha they have they are moving together for their mutual advantage. You didn't really answer the question about whether she wanted Savasa to go, Queen of Savasa to go insane like that. But anyway. So, Alice's mother, the current Mao, is allied with the three sisters, without a doubt, and incited both Savasa and Grand Noah. What kind of, what is she up to? So, disordering Savasa and assisting Grand Noah, what is she up, what exactly is she planning? I do not know. Yeah, and after all, since I was in danger of falling into your hands from the very beginning, don't you think it would have been foolish to let me know too much? Hmm. Well... It doesn't seem like you're telling the whole truth here, but fine. On to our last question. Is the Mao also behind the actions of Grand Gold? Ooh. Yes. That Kuni, that country as well, is under the control of the Mao. Or at least so Mephisto hears. What? Ground gold is also... But that's just strange. Ground gold and ground Nora. They're both being manipulated by the Mao. And even so, the two are at war. Does the, is the Mao deliberately starting this... Did the, did the Mao deliberately start this big war? Alright, let's hear your answer, Mephisto. Is she trying to get these two countries to just bash each other to death? Well, how can a mere swallow such as myself understand the machinations of Phoenix? Kind of a Japanese figure of speech. But whatever. She says the Mao must have a reason deeper than the sea. Yeah, she's avoiding the question. Ah, jeez. So it seems like it's no, of no use to further question you. Well then, Mephisto's disposal shall be. You don't plan on executing her, do you? That seems a little bit disconcerting. As up to now, she shall be my magic vizier. So, do kindly consult Grand Noah, consult with me for the good of Grand Noah. Understood, Your Majesty. That, is that how we're doing it? Mm, well, first of all, an excessive, a wise ruler must swallow certain things. If there's someone if there's someone who is beneficial to Grand Noah, no matter who they are, 
then, especially during wartime, you can't just go picking and choosing. But you might betray them. And second, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Because I'm known to have an ulterior motive, I should be kept under close watch. And through me, my ulteriors can be deduced. So, is that something you've learned today, little priestess girl? God, you pissed me off! Oh, why does she talk down to Sonia like that, though? So then... My queen, I swear to you in the name of the Mao, from now on I shall work to my utmost for the benefit of Gran Noah. Uh, so that's how it is. Everything's been confirmed and now we've learned that the Mao is also behind Grand Gold. Much like the Queen, Queen Sara of Sabasa, Grand Gold's king is probably, well, driven insane as well. And it seems that this war is something that the Mao is behind. And now that all we, we know all these things, we need to reconsider a lot of things. Hero Luca, from now on, will you? We will be counting on your support. Will you do it? No. I'm out to save the world, not get involved in your stupid internecine conflicts. Don't reject her, you moron. The Mao's plot, we can't just leave alone like this. So, we will cooperate with you. This is also probably connected to the objective of our journey. Well, thank you, Hero Luca. So, working together, let us bust open the Mao's plot. Together with the fish pirates! Yeah, another chance to raise our name. So then, I shall presently consult with all of my advisors. We've learned a lot of new information, and this will result in great changes to our offensive strategy. You guys all as well wanted to go investigate Esta, right? As promised, I've finished all the preparations for your participation in the investigation. Very well then, we'll head for Esta. It's west. Just follow the road signs and we shouldn't get lost. While you're aware, we're going to deal with our military strategy. So once we've reworked that, we're going to be needing your help. So then, we're counting on you. And we've got high expectations for your work in the investigation. Alright, leave it to us. Hero Luca, I too have a request of you. Jeez, this person, you are so shameless! Oh, don't say that. And this is also advantageous to your objective. In the forest to the west of here, there is a, a settlement called the Plansect Village. It seems in there there is some kind of trouble going on. The village is split into two and they're fighting the insects and the plants, right? According to what we've heard, Alice the 17th put a stop <clears throat> excuse me, put a stop to that. Well, that's true, but some unsavory characters have reignited the conflict. 
to learn about the details, you should go to the village. And so, we're counting on you to put a stop to the conflict in the Plansect village. After all, if there's an internal conflict within our kingdom, our enemies may find an opening to attack. You are just so insolent asking this of us. Huh, but now that we know of it, it's not like we can just let it go. So let's visit the Plansect village in the forest to the east. So that would be right here. But I'm going to leave off for today. Tomorrow we're going to deal with that. It's actually a bit of a ordeal. In any case, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.